What's going on, everybody? Happy Tanto Tuesday. We got a few cool Tanto blades to talk about today. Because it's Tanto Tuesday. So, let's get started. Tanto. What's Tanto knife? Well, Tanto knife originated in the Heian period in medieval Japan, ranging from the years uh, 794 to about 1185. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Now, it was mainly used by, you may guess, the samurai. Now, the samurai carried two blades, typically, and you can still see many um, sold like this at stores, you know, at the mall and whatnot. High-end stuff, too. Don't get me wrong. Now, these swords, the sword, the katana, you know, the long one, was or had a companion blade, the shorter one, the tanto. Tanto literally is a Japanese word for short sword. So that's where it comes from. But over the next thousand years or so, the tanto changed, mainly in the early 1980s, by the company Cold Steel. That's right, Cold Steel. Lynn Thompson himself is really credited for revolutionizing and creating what we know as the American Tanto style. So the Japanese one is more like this here. It has more of a, a curved shape where this American Tanto has a very hard stop here at the edge and then angles upward. And you can see, hopefully the camera focuses, you can see here the thickness on these type of blades where the Japanese kind of, you know, it uh, swoops down to a point like a normal knife where the American style is very thick on the spine and giving strength to that real piercing point because the Tanto is made to stab. It is a stabbing, last-ditch, self-defense weapon. That's what it was in medieval Japan, and really, that's what it's meant for today. These combat knives, or as Saad would call them, professional use. Emerson CQC7 here. Close quarters combat. Model number seven. Famously carried by Navy SEALs, including the one known as Mark Owen, who carried one of these on Operation Neptune Spear to take out Osama bin Laden. His sold at auction for $35,000. A little out of my price range. Now this one, very cool fixed blade version made from Buck. As I said earlier, uh, cold steel popularized the style in the early 1980s. If you look closely, you may even see the cold steel tanto handle sticking out of Patrick Swayze's belt in the movie Red Dawn. So, what's your tanto of the day for Tanto Tuesday? Take care, my friends. Have a wonderful day and make it a tanto day. See you next time.